Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make an 8 digit security code lock using Arduino. I have used a servo motor to lock and unlock the door. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by PCBGoGo, which is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have designed the PCB layout and also generated the Gerbo files and go to PCBGoGo.com and click on instant code and select all required parameters such as material, board type, PCB size, quantity, solder mask color, silk screen color and a few more options. Then I click on calculate and select my country and click on add to basket. After that I have uploaded the Gerber files and click on submit PCB. After that the order will be added to the shopping cart. Then I click on proceed and add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels do subscribe them as well and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram component list circuit diagram everything is in the description below These are all the components we are gonna need for this project. First connect Arduino, after that connect an LED and connect its anode to pin D2 of Arduino and its cathode to ground. After that connect another LED and connect its anode to pin D3 of Arduino and its cathode to ground. After that connect another LED and connect its anode to pin D4 of Arduino and its cathode to ground. After that, connect another LED and connect its anode to pin D5 of Arduino and its cathode to ground. After that, connect another LED and connect its anode to pin D6 of Arduino and its cathode to ground. After that, connect another LED and connect its anode to pin D7 of Arduino and its cathode to ground. After that, connect another LED and connect its anode to pin D8 of Arduino and its cathode to ground. After that, connect another LED and connect its anode to pin D9 of Arduino and its cathode to ground. After that, connect an 8x8 keypad and connect its pin number 1 to pin A5 of Arduino, its pin number 2 to pin A4 of Arduino, its pin number 3 to pin A3 of Arduino, its pin number 4 to pin A2 of Arduino, its pin number 5 to pin A1 of Arduino, its pin number 6 to pin A0 of Arduino, its pin number 7 to pin D12 of Arduino, its pin number 8 to pin D11 of Arduino. After that, connect a servo motor and connect its positive pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground pin of Arduino and its signal pin to pin D3 of Arduino. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test it. First we need to save the default passcode in the EEPROM of Arduino. For that I have made this code. First upload this code to Arduino. Now upload the main code to the Arduino. Let's enter the default passcode 
which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. As we enter a digit, an LED lights up to indicate the number of digits. If we have entered the correct code, all the LEDs flash and the servo motor starts and unlock the door. To reset the passcode, enter 8 zeros. Then enter old passcode. Then enter new passcode. And the passcode is changed. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.